Life with JC Evans here. All right, so I just wanted to come on today and I wanted to give those who follow me because of my rice water situation, I wanted to give you a little update. I promise you it's actually a little update, believe it or not. All right, um, first let me just introduce you to who I am if you're brand new. My name is Patrice Evans. I am considered the belly dancing minister, so check out my channel so that you can see all of the different videos that I do four uh, videos a week and there are four shows a week on my channel all right so what i do on my channel is i unlock a woman's joy from her beautiful hair to her beauty from the inside out and we keep jesus at the center of all that we do so if this is something you're excited of being a part of welcome 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 all right so today i just wanted to quickly come on and i wanted to tell you a few things about my update as it pertains to rice water all right so I don't know if you remember me, but I was the one that had rice, rice water damage. And I, if you're brand new and you don't understand my entire story, then I'm here to just remind you of what happened. And I want to bring you into a series that I'm about to do that has to do with fine hair and low porosity hair, all right? But what I wanted to do was I wanted to start by showing you why that relates to my rice water damage, all right? So, first of all, I was one of the first people on YouTube to alert the natural hair community about how rice water is a great, great natural product for our hair. The three things that I think that really stood out for me was that, first of all, what it did was it penetrated the shop. The thing is, we, I was uh, starting a journey where I was trying so hard to get all that great nutrients from my um henna and all the things that I had learned that were great for my hair, I was trying to get it into the shack. That was the heart, the main point, right? So it turns out that I found this natural product out there that went in like that. So I was like, this is amazing. It grew hair, hair, well your hair grows. But what it did was it strengthened your hair so that it retained the length more and it also gave it, gave it sheen. And it just had all these properties that I thought, wait a minute, in the natural hair community, these are the things that we look for the most, right? So I thought, this is perfect for us. I couldn't wait to tell all my lovelies, so I did. Then I tried it, and I continued on with the regimen that I had had, and I added the rice water. So what I learned was, now looking back, is that there was a lot going on. Rice water not only does all those wonderful things, but the natural hair community, I think we've realized now that rice water is basically a natural protein. So because of that, for some reason, because it was new and it was new for our um, community, I had not realized that it was for people who pro do protein treatments or those who use protein to strengthen the hair. It, no one knew that. I guess with the Asian hair type, that was something that their hair could handle. But in the natural hair community, we have so many types of hair we have so many different textures and types and porosity levels that for us, it was a little, it took a little more for us to realize how it was a benefit for us. For some of us, it was wonderful. People were having such a great response. And let me just tell you about rice water. It will give you a great response for the first month, maybe a few weeks. But after that, if you have low porosity hair, and fine hair, that combination especially, it could possibly break all of your hair out, okay? Now, when I say all of it, what I really mean is it can give you a serious setback where you have hair that feels like straw and you may have to cut out inches of your hair and get it back to the way it is. Now, what's gonna happen where it was before? The reason why you would do more the ends is because your ends are the oldest part of your hair and it's already kind of damage more than the rest anyway. So it'll start to attack the ends first. So if you are interested in hearing me do a little bit more about what I've learned about rice water and how it relates to um, low porosity fine hair, then please comment below and I can give you more videos, okay? But moving forward, what I wanted you to see is that I actually restored my hair. As you can see, my hair has grown. It is the longest it's ever been with me taking care of it without a weave and it's finally growing. It is at my armpit length. You can look at my other videos and I will definitely make sure that I put the um, playlist to my Thursday videos at the end, okay? So 
what I wanted to come here and let you know is now I have a better understanding as to why that happened. I am protein sensitive. I already knew that, and I knew that from the beginning, but I didn't know that rice water was mostly protein. It's a beautiful natural protein treatment. So if you're interested in getting a natural protein treatment, I completely think that you should try it. If your hair is fine with protein, that's probably such a wonderful tool for you to grow your hair and to get all the wonderful benefits. But if you've ever had any problems with protein, in my experience, y'all, rice water has been the worst thing for my hair. It has really, really hurt my hair so much. Now, I get protein from my growth oil from Ayurveda Curls, so if you're interested in it, it's um, in the link. I'll make sure it's in the link in the description. But you can go to AyurvedaCurls.com, you can get my line of products. So I have my growth oil, I have the clay that comes with it, I have my deep conditioning honey mask, and I have my styling jam, which is has flaxseed, Ayurveda, um, a lot of my Ayurveda oils in there, black seed oils in everything that I use. I have a lot of growth, um, natural growth herbs in all of my products and you can go to ayurvedacurls.com to get them. So I've been only using my product and that's how I restored my hair. But the first thing I did was I made sure that I put more moisture in it and I did all of, I did bentonine clay that if you're having any issues, that's what I used first and I did like a whole week to two weeks of restoring my hair with the moisture because it turned into straw and I had a huge setback. So anyway, um, but after that, I started to keep it simple. So I only use my product line, which is natural based, all natural. And then I would add um, clay. So I use Russell clay to after I shampoo it with my Giovanni, okay? So you can look at my updated wash day routine. I'll definitely link that at the end as well for you to check out. So you'll know everything that I do. So everything that I've done since this happened, and I recovered in 2018 is when this all happened. And so kind of around this time, two years ago, is when things started getting better. So this is two years worth of recovery right here. And so I am extremely happy with what I've been doing internally and externally. But what I'm here to tell you is I'm going to start a series on fine and low porosity hair. What I want to leave you with today is I want to leave you with this understanding there are different levels of low porosity. I believe I am a severe low porosity <laughs> chick. <laughs> so not only that, but I have different types within my hair. So I'm multi-typed hair, I have a low porosity, and I have fine hair, medium density. So it's so important to know your hair. It took me a while to figure this all out, and that's part of knowing your hair. So at this point, in all of my rice water videos, many people have tried to show me how to use rice water. I just want to let you know now, I don't plan on ever using rice water, rice water again in my life unless the Lord tells me to. So please don't worry about giving me advice on how I should use rice water because I know my hair is a severe low porosity and it can't take any protein. And I didn't realize that that's what I was putting in my hair. Had I known that, I would have never put it in my hair because I already use a natural protein but what I was about to say before is I already use a natural protein, which is my henna treatment. I put in my oil every day. So I'm always putting a little bit of protein in my hair by putting a little bit of that oil. So I have a gradual amount of protein always going in my hair. So I hardly ever have to do a protein treatment. So, but I can tell when it's time to do it. So just recently I did and I dyed my hair with my henna. And I will, every time I do my wash day routine, then um, I don't put my protein in there, but I do it like every, I think it's around every time that I cut my hair, like every other month, maybe not even that often. I don't put protein in my hair much because if you realize, if you stop to think about it, um, protein is in a lot of the store-bought products. And I use the Shea Moisture Leave-In and there's probably a little bit of protein in there. And not only do you have to watch out for protein in general, but you have to make sure you're getting the right kind of protein for your hair. So I'd love to do a series following up on this rice water damage re uh, recovery and my update and how I've learned about my hair and now what I do to prevent that ever happening again. If you're interested in hearing more about that, please comment below. Let me know what about the low porosity that you want to know. What about fine hair and low porosity would you like to know? And if you'd like to hear more videos about the range of 
low porosity but severe low porosity and how to handle your hair, what you should not be putting in it, what you should be putting in it. Okay, so I just wanted to give this little update to you and I want to caution anyone with a severe low porosity, if you've already known that you are severely low porosity, meaning it's really hard for you to get moisture in your hair. And for me, when I say that, I mean sections of my hair. There are sections like right here where I have a difficult time getting moisture in that section and when it's not happy, it breaks on me or it just does funny things, dries out, and um, my hair gets dry really easily. And I really want to tell you a lot more about what I've learned about my hair. So that's my rice water update. My advice to you, if you want to try rice water for the first time, is why don't you do like a lot of like, um, companies say when you're trying something new on your hair. Why don't you first do it on a little piece of your hair for about two weeks and see what it does. Because if it starts to break, at least you only have a little piece of your hair breaking. Please don't be so anxious to get your hair growing that you don't think about the health of your hair. Please don't jump on a bandwagon so easily because all of your hard work can go down the drain if you're so excited about growing your hair that you do that. My advice to you is put it away before you... I'm against weaves and wigs for a long term because of the fact that my hair dries so easily. But I prefer you do that and just keep a piece out and check, test that as you learn how to grow your hair, okay? Do all you can to keep the hard work that you've already done. I'll give you another look at my hair, and I'm, it's grown, it's different textures in the back, as you can see, but it has grown a lot. Um, I'll just do my tail, look at that. So you can see, it's grown a lot. I'm going to link my my video from last week where I showed, was it last week? A few weeks ago, where I showed my link of how long it's grown. And I just want to thank you so much for staying on and watching. I look forward to seeing y'all next week. And please comment below. Let me know what you want me to talk about on Thursdays. And I think I'm going to call this show a name. So go into the community and I'm going to get your opinion on what name we should call this show. Okay? All right. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next week. Bye.